Welcome back to another video. This is code for us around 916D3 and we're going to solve the fourth problem that is three activities. So we know that it's December now and winter holidays are going to come up and uh, it will last for like end days, right? So like all of us, uh, we will have plans for our December holidays. Our friend Monocarp also has plans, okay? So don't say your plan is to do code forces and uh, improve your rating. Just go and chill also. So what Monocarp does is he is not solving a problem now, but uh, he is enjoying. So during his holidays, Monocarp wants to try uh, all the three activities exactly once in the uh, with his friends. So the first activity is like he wants to go for skiing, watch a movie in a cinema hall, and play board games. So exactly one time. uh for one day he needs to do this monokar knows that on the eighth day exactly ai friends will join him for skiing bi friends will join him for a movie and ci friends will join him for board games so monokar also knows that he can't try more than one activity in a single day if he goes for skiing uh, skiing only should happen on that day if he plays for board games board games only should happen now he asks you to help him choose three distinct days x y z such that uh the total number of friends who joins his activities will be as big as possible so let's see this with the help of an example then we'll try to figure out the solution so skiing uh, on the first day if he goes he have one friend on the second day for skiing 10 friends will come on the third day one friend will come uh, similarly uh, for uh, cinema hall like uh, on the first day 10 friends will come and so on and this is for the board games now if i add i have to in programmatically speaking i have to take an index across all the three rows such that there is no overlap between them if i take this index i can take these two if i take uh, this one this one this one i can take this one this one this one i can take uh, any two index should not overlap that is the ultimate goal of this so what do we do optimally speaking i can just say that i'll go for the highest one 10 okay on the second day since 10 is not colliding with this 10 i can take 10 again here so 20 then again these two columns are ignored so 10 plus 10 is 20 i can take this 10 30 so he will have a total of like 30 friends that's the optimal solution let's go for the other uh, example so here what i'll take optimally speaking i'll take the 30 plus can i take this 30 it is not at all possible right because on the second day it is colliding on the same day only column means it's on the same day so i take the 30 i take this 20 here 40 50 and uh, this 25 here so 30 40 50 60 75 50. so optimally like if we do it uh, we are able to get it but is it only enough what do i do here i am just telling that i am taking the highest number on the second day uh, if the value is not part of the uh, corresponding day i will move to the next highest value on the third day if the value is not part of a and if the column is not part of b i'll go to the third one if there are no two highest values i'll go for the third highest value but the reverse also can come right c i can take the highest value or b also i can take the highest value c and a i can compromise on that suppose if uh, b here if it is 1000 i won't take a value as 30 i'll take the 1000 only right so if i take 1000 here i'll take 20 from i'll take 20 from here and 25 from here so i should now i understood that i should not start from a as the highest value we should consider for all the possibilities so let's understand this so as i told now like since we are considering for all the possibilities does this 1 5 and all come into picture it will definitely not come into picture right see at last there are only 3 days that are possible and each of the day will be uh, having a corresponding higher value so if i split this into 3 days a can have one among the three highest values b can have one among the three highest values and c can have one among the three highest values do i have to take four highest values in any of them not at all right only three days so each of them i need to take three highest values so i took an example so that uh, we can understand this more so this is the matrix that they gave so before this let's remove this okay so 10 20 30 is there 30 10 20 is there 30 10 20 is there what do i do optimally i just think that okay let's take for this 30 first and this 30 also i can take in b this 30 can i take not possible this 20 can i take not possible 
this 10 only I can take because this 30 is on the same column as this this third this 20 is on the same column of 30 so I am taking the third largest here the largest here and the largest here but what if I tell you instead of this 30 if it is 120 130 do I go for 10 no right in this case I would start from C only I would take the highest value of this 130 then do I take 30 or 20 here 30 I cannot definitely take because 130 is much higher value so I remove this and mark it to 20 here if I mark this to 20 can I take this value no I have to move to 20 here so that's how like there are many combinations that can come so we think that so we uh, came to the conclusion that um, if there are n number of days we will take only the top three days so if it is not on the first day uh, like uh, if we if top three days are here with the highest value of friends we will correspondingly map to these guys so if one two or three one uh, one seven something comes these and all are not at all needed we take the highest values only so after taking the highest values we actually sort a sort b and sort c so that we retrieve the highest three values so now let's do one more thing now i am just mapping the index right 10 is 1 20 is 2 30 is 3 so index should not match so i am just writing it like 10 20 30 i am just sorting it 10 20 30 10 20 30 and 10 20 130 i just sorted these numbers and i am just correspondingly mapping the indices so 130 is at position 1 so this is also at position 1 so what do i do in this case i need to try for all the different possibilities that are available right so what do i do i take 30 now after getting 30 can i go to what is the next number i can take i can take 10 or oh sorry i can i cannot take 20 but i can take 10 or i can take 30 so 30 also i can take because the index of this is different from this so 30 i took after this uh, what uh, i can take 130 also i can take uh, what 1 and 3 i cannot take but i am forced to, to take this only but ideally speaking 130 should come so since there are only 3 by 3 uh, numbers we try for all the different possibilities and get the values so that's all it's very simple now let's see how do we code it so what did i do i just uh, took a vector pair and uh, correspondingly mapped all the uh, the value and the index of vector a the array a and same thing for array b also the value and the index array c also value and the index then I sorted with this greater int. Man's what? I am sorting such that the biggest values comes on the extreme right of it. So let's take this example 110 1. So 110 1 is here and uh, 10 1 1 is here and 1 1 10 is here. First, what happens? I'm just mapping the index 1, 0, 10, 1, 1, 2, something like that. Then if I'm sorting this, what happens? If we sort this, it will be 10, 1 then what is the next highest number one zero and one two can come similarly for others also it will come if i'm sorting three different indices here what am i doing is i am uh, taking all the possibilities like if i take the first number of uh, a i am iterating through all the three possibilities of b and iterating through all the three possibilities of c then i am checking that whether the index of a is not matching with index of b index of a is not matching with index of c index of b is not matching with index of c that just means that all the indices across all the three arrays should be different v of a uh, 0 1 2 3 is what it is having the highest values now if i get it i try all the different possibilities and simply add the first value first represents the value here and finally we mark the result so that's it so what did we learn like there are uh, three different days each column represents a day so we understood that there is no need that uh, to take other values other than the highest value i assumed that if we take the highest value moving to lower it will be sorted but i found that c might have a higher value uh, if because of a a like what do i mean by that is if we take uh, a value as 30 on the same index c also can have a bigger value so uh, op greedily we can't choose like that so we need to try for all the different uh, possibilities so how do we go for all the different possibilities is it's not for total n 
there are only three different uh, positions three different highest value that is possible for a possible for b and possible for c then i simply try for all the different possibilities and then print the answer so this is the solution and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments that's it guys thank you see you in the next video bye